It's Jay Cruz, aka known as the Audio Cat, guys. Today, I got another video we're gonna start with you guys today. We're doing something pretty interesting. We have an Acura TLX, it's a 2015 model, and we're adding to the factory radio Apple CarPlay. People always wanna know what new technology can we add to our older vehicles that did not come with it. Just so you guys know, you don't have Bluetooth, we can give you Bluetooth for phone calls, we can give you Bluetooth for music, we can give you auxiliary ports, we can give you camera inputs on most vehicles, we can give you front camera, mirror cameras, we could also do Android Auto and CarPlay. CarPlay and today we're getting the privilege of doing a Apple CarPlay on a 2015 Acura TLX. It's not going to be a fast build, it's not going to be a quick build. I will have it done today and the best of all guys, I get to do it by myself. So I'm actually going to be hands on. Whenever there's new stuff that comes out there, I like to make sure that I know what's going on. So if my guys ever have a question, then I know how to answer those questions for them. So I'm actually going to go ahead and get this Acura today, start dismantling it myself, putting it together, putting the modules and doing the testing. And we're gonna actually have um, Apple CarPlay in a 2015 Acura TLX. So if you have a car, you wanna know if you can add something, check us out at Audio Zone. And please don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, please watch the video. We're trying to build this up. Also on this point, I wanna let you know that we have already hit, congratulations, we've got to the thousand subscribers. We are so grateful for that. The giveaway can be coming up, not this Wednesday, it could be the last Wednesday of this month. We're putting uh, together what, how we're gonna get it set up for you guys. The materials is here, but we'll be doing just for you guys always writing to me the last Wednesday of this month we will have the giveaway we're giving away the two nemesis 12 inches M series we're giving a 3k nemesis amplifier and also the box want to give some stuff information though it's gonna be here in the store so if you're local you can definitely come pick it up and I want to be clear if you have to get it shipped to you you're gonna pay for shipping I don't want to have no questions or concerns I'm giving away over a thousand dollars in materials but if you have to get it shipped somewhere guys you know, all you, I'm not gonna make the money on handling and charge you process, nothing like that. Whatever the shipping cost is, that's what you'll pay. But on this video, I just want you guys to like and subscribe and don't forget to hit that like button. Tool, so here I got a flat panel popper, pretty thick. I got some other thin ones and got a hook just to be able to help me hook out some stuff. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna come down here right now, start looking for the weak point. And you can actually grab it and start pulling. You see that it starts to release. Once it releases there, you can actually come here with your panel popper and start popping out the panel. You gotta be careful, because it is plastic, guys. It's not metal. So you start getting this panel off. And we're gonna come and do the same thing on this side. Come from the bottom. Pull it up. Start wedging your panel off. If you can't get it with your fingers, you got the plastic wedges. Get the panel from the side. Now you're gonna see if there's located, there's screws all around the unit here. We'll start taking those off to start taking this head unit. All right, so now after you have these panels here removed on this Acura, you're gonna notice that up here, there's a little plastic panel. You're gonna come and wedge it from the side, start to lift up, and start popping the clips. This piece is gonna clip off. Once you do that, you're gonna have some screws here you have to remove, right here, right there. And I've already taken off this one here, the one down here, here, and here. Alright, so now after we got that done, we got the screws in the top removed, the screws here on the side removed, now like a little panel down here, you can see the little wedge right here, you can actually pull down this plastic piece right here, you can pull down the little plastic down here. So now that this comes apart, you can take this little panel off, we can get a light down there for y'all, and then there's a screw down there. There you can see. We're gonna take that screw out right there in the bottom. So we got these screws that you see out of here off. We got the two that are coming off the top here. And there's actually two that are down here. Once you get those apart, guys, the next thing you have to do is that underneath this radio down here, there's actually two eight millimeter bolts that are going up on the car. To get to them, you have to remove the panel that's here, remove the sides here, and get these panels off on the side so you can actually see what you're doing. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start popping these panels off real quick. Got one off. Got the other one off. Now when you come down here guys, on the side, come on, this side here, there could be like a little cap. You gotta pop this cap off. Once you pop this cap off, and I tell you guys, don't put it down like this. Put it like this so you don't scratch your panels. You put it straight going down, all right? You can actually just grab this piece, start pulling on it, and it'll start to pop the clips off. Just snug it, boom. 
this panel comes off. You can actually leave it hanging if you want to. You're gonna have one 10 millimeter slash Phillips tip, so I already have my Phillips drill. I'm gonna pop this bolt off here. And now they can allow me over here though, you're also gonna get some bolts over here. So these bolts that you just took off here are gonna release this panel that you see right here. So you pop this clip off, now you got this panel off, right guys? So here goes your catch. Now, down there, there could be two screws, the ones I told you going eight millimeters. So what you're gonna have to do, guys, you're gonna have to find a tool, because it's kind of a pain in the butt. So look, I'm gonna show you this here. I got a ratchet in my hand. I got a long a long nine, and I got a medium size extension. It's gonna give me enough length to come in there, because if it's two down, you scratch the bottom. This is gonna be something you're gonna pretty much have to buy. You're not gonna be able to find this or invent it. Whatever you gotta do, get it done. But you're gonna stick them on, there's one on this side, one on that side. When you come down here, you ain't gonna be able to see it, but down here, I can see that I, that's why I got my panel off here on this side, so I can see inside here, and I can start taking off my bolt. <laughs> All right, so now that we have the bolts off in the bottom, everything is registered in the side, now you're gonna grab this ready, you can start pulling on that. Guys, it is a screen, it's not a, a kid and stuff. You gotta pull it lightly, you start loosening, just wiggle a little by little, and you'll be able to get your radio out. Now watch this. What I'm trying to show y'all a minute ago, look down here. Look at the eight millimeter. All I did was loosen them up. I did not take them out. Look at the bolts that are there. They actually grab it to hooks here. You grab one from the side and one from the side, but this is where you're at right now. So now that I got this out, I'm actually gonna start doing the installation of the module, which is gonna give us the factory car plate on the radio. Let me grab my mic. So. Made in USA. Made in the USA. That so means it's not a China job. brand. That's a little glitch right there, if you know what I just said. Support American <laughs> jobs, y'all figure that out later. But now we're gonna just start getting this bad boy situated and ready to go. So now I gotta start getting all my harnesses and my T's together and everything situated to get this bad boy ready to go. So I get my main harness, I plug it in. I got my T harness, I start plugging everything in. If it don't fit, don't force it. Got a way to go. These here, my video screens, and my other T's. Now I'm getting everything that I need situated to be able to get everything I need ready to go for the install. So I just start getting all my T's ready, get all my situations ready, and we uh, should Behind my screen here, it can be a lot of different plugs, a lot of different ports we're looking at. It is a plug and play, guys, so you're gonna kind of pretty much figure out that if you look at this plug here, it doesn't go together, right? So it's kind of pretty simple once you start getting in here, you start looking for the plugs that plug. So you look at this plug, I look at these two plugs together. Does that look like a thing, guys? No. So you keep on going, don't try to force it in. You keep on looking till you find a match. You gotta find the perfect bride. Now look at this. Do these two look alike, guys? I think we found a couple, right? So now we found a couple. What we do, we get the other T harness, plug it into one side, and I plug the T into the other side. Okay. Now we're looking for the next plug. Now this one here, you can tell it's the original Honda plug. So that could be the bad boy in the bottom. Okay, for y'all that don't know, this is one of the hardest cars to take the harness for the radio off. It's got, and I'll show you here, it's got this little swivel mount, but there's a little clip in the middle. That little clip has to be moved up for you to be able to get the freedom in there. A lot of people like to pull and break them. Guys, take your time, it's electronics. It's, it's, it's not metal, it's plastic. Take your time, you know, do it right. Or break it and bring it to me so I can fix it for y'all. However y'all want to do. So now I'm coming in here. So I pulled the clip. I got this one out. Same thing goes back over here. So now my T harness is in, right? Look like we're getting somewhere. Now we got one more T harness. So now we gotta find a matchy pair for this bad boy. I don't want to show your elbows. <laughs> we got a matching set. So now we get this bad boy. Alrighty. Very important when you do that, you see that I always push and I check is my OCD, but it's also verifying that I got my clips and connections done. Cause the last thing you want to do is have to open this twice because you didn't do something right the first time. So just take your time and you know, do what you got to do. I probably do it a lot faster than most of y'all do. I've been doing it for years. It's not an easy job, but it's not an impossible job, but just, you know, take your time and let's get it all done. So now we're going to come here. This module allows me to have a lot of different things. I got a left camera, got a rear camera, got a front camera 
and got a right camera. So this allowed Maldi, if I wanted to add in this car, whenever I'm driving the vehicle and I turn my left signal on, I could have the screen actually pop up a camera from my left or my right and blind spots and forwards. Then we also have here your audio outputs, right? Which are gonna go to the auxiliary inputs from the unit. And then we're pretty much getting ourselves situated to get this bad boy installed. We have a microphone here, which is another mic that we're gonna be using right now. We're gonna install this microphone for him. This is gonna be able to control his Siri and all the other features from the vehicle. This is our microphone. That's the mic input. And then now we're grabbing to these plugs here. So now that we got this T-Harness installed here, it could be the video in and output from this unit here, right? So you're gonna come and plug these bad boys in. So we pretty much got our module ready to go. We've got a green light and a blue light showing that it's initializing. This we're gonna connect our HDMI, which we're gonna be able to use for the um, adding of the car plate to the unit. Right now, what I'm gonna do at this point in time is I'm gonna let everything sit for a little bit, let everything initialize, memorize, program to each other, and uh, we'll be back in a second. <laughs> All right, guys, so now we got all this thing that's already initialized. Now we're gonna get the microphone that came with the unit. And you got a lot of options where you could put it. Putting it clean where you don't see it is very important. We've already been through this before. If you look on the side of this mirror, this mirror moves around. There's a little plastic area, I've already wiped it down. I will grab this microphone and I'm gonna go ahead and attach it right there. So now the client has the option of putting it to where they want to be. But when I get to the install piece, this is pretty simple, pretty hard and simple if you wanna ask me. You're gonna really just get this stuff and tuck it all the way down and all the way into the vehicle. And you're gonna start just running it across. So just running it across. Once you get it here, you're gonna bring it down, run it up to your device, and you have the microphone connection. All right, guys. So we're at the final part. If you look over here, I had to route all my wires, USB extension to this corner. There is no area to be able to mount it down on this side, but I got everything good enough where I got it here. I'm gonna do some zip ties in a minute, but now we're about to do some testing to actually see if the Apple CarPlay works and then I can figure out my configuration of these two wires that we have right here. This is really your video in and video off of the top screen. If you look at my top screen right now, she's completely blacked out. You see you guys? But if I plug this in, you'll start to see, I'll start to get a signal source. Now I gotta figure out what's CarPlay and what's not. So you can see that that's actually going there, but we're gonna actually figure out if I got it right. Let me get my iPhone. Well. Let me get your iPhone because I own an Android. <laughs> da -da -da! And I'm gonna plug in the Apple. Just swipe it up. Swipe it up? Swipe it up, yeah. Gotta get used to these iPhone things. Hit the press, yeah, yeah. press and hold this here. And it brought me right into CarPlay. So now with the factory plugs and everything, I'm able to come to the screen, enter what I want to have. Guys, we have CarPlay Ooh. on this Acura. Now look what's really cool. I come here, I can look at the maps. We're actually looking at map from his device directly onto the screen. This is not factory. We actually just finished doing this to this car, guys. I'm gonna come down here, come back to the main menu. I'm gonna go down to the music file. I don't think he has nothing in his music file, but I'm gonna go ahead right now and try to get some music to play just to make sure that everything I have is working correctly. Uh, you got my mixtapes? That's my you? Mixtapes, yeah. So let me go ahead and click that app open. Let's hit enter. We crushed that. We was on the road doing show, then fish that. Yeah. Feel like the devil was fucking with me. Yeah. Super Bowl night, man, I can't forget. Yeah. Too All right, guys. So what we can start right now, we're actually playing his audio from his phone through the CarPlay. And if you look at the screen here, I come to my mixtapes, which is his app that he uses, and I can see all of his songs, highlight it, bring it down, choose what I want, play the song. Apple CarPlay, guys, right on his factory screen. Navigation, you can go to text messages, you can talk to Siri. Would you like to hear your unread? Yeah, there you go, Siri. <laughs> Don't get him no numbers. Okay, cool. Yeah, we, I mean, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Uh, yeah. But anyway, guys. Or compose a new one. Compose a new one. Who do you want to send it to? Jeff AudioZone. What do you want to say? Please hurry up and test this Siri Apple Play. That is your name on here. You can see it. I just guess. Your message to Jeff AudioZone says, please hurry up and test this Siri Apple Play. Ready to send it? Yes. Okay, it's sent. All right, can I let him get my Dang. phone? Oh. Can I show you his number? Cause we don't want y'all, you know, spamming. <laughs> but I'm gonna come here, and he just texts me. 
please hurry up. The test is, you see that one like Siri. Siri. It's not Google, but anyway, guys. Siri, Google, Apple Play. But it does, it did what it have to do. Yeah. So I wanted you to know, we actually just finished getting this Apple Play installed in this Acura. Client's gonna be happy. I'm gonna do an interview with him to finish up this video completely on this install. Um, but guys, everything's possible. If you really want it, believe me, you give me a call, we'll figure out if it's possible, we'll get you done. So that wraps up this Acura ILX in, uh, install, TLX install. We'll do a video at the finale with the client making sure that uh, everything's going good, but I put it together, it's done. Let's so you the put it on, you put, there, there wasn't a radio on the bottom there? This is factory. I made CarPlay here. Wow. Wow, wow. anyway guys, we just finished buttoning it all up, putting it together. I'm gonna show it to you now, the car's complete and functioning. Press and hold the back button, activate my module. These options is if I wanna have HDMI, so if you wanna stream your video from your screen, watch YouTube, you can do that through that input. My CarPlay backup camera, front camera, left camera, right camera, all those features are added. I'm just gonna go ahead and activate the CarPlay. Boom, now you can see it's CarPlay. I come and activate the music files if I want to. I can hit what's up, I can go to text messages. I can go to the maps if I want to. I can talk to Siri. So I come over here and tell Siri right now. I don't know, are we copyrighted with Siri? Mm -mm. Okay, so if I talk to Siri right now, I gotta ask. But if I come and say, I say I come here to maps, and I say I want to come to let me end because I was doing a test there. Let's go to destinations. I say I want to talk to Siri. Find me the closest McDonald's near me. The nearest one I found is McDonald's on West Airport Freeway. So now let I can, me know if you want to hear the whole list. She playing the music now. She's navigating, guys. So we actually just completed buttoning this up. This is a 2015 Acura TLX. Um, we just added the CarPlay, so everything with this is 100% done. We tested it, it's good to go. If you need it done, just give us a call, 972-513-0111. We'll tell you if it's possible. Some people think you can't because the car is older or so on. It doesn't matter what you got. If you call me, I will let you know if it's possible. But this one, you've already seen it working. If you have any questions, just give us a call. Thank you for watching. God bless. Please don't forget to subscribe. Hit that like button. Share it with your friends. We're doing the giveaway. I'm repeating it again. We have already got to 1,000 subscribers. Thanks to you guys. We are so grateful for that. Now we're going to get ready to put it on. It's going to be the last Wednesday of this month. We're going to be putting the event together for the giveaway to come out. And we'll be, the product already ready to go. Um, local pickups will be local pickups. Anything that has to do with shipping, then the customer or you guys, whoever wins, will be responsible for shipping. But the equipment and everything will be free. That's coming the last Wednesday of the month. Stay posted to our videos for more details. Thank y'all. God bless. Okay, Siri, find me the closest Taco Bell. Bell. The closest Taco Bell. The nearest one I found is Taco Bell, which averages two and a half you can go back here. You can use all your factory you buttons to work this back. You can also come over here and you can use this. You can talk to Siri here, just like your regular car play. It is car play, so it is what it is. You got your music here playing. What should you throw music for? He's playing your music. He's looking at funny Yeah, yeah. But you come here, now you want to come here, you can change it. Everything stays like factory. So it, there's nothing that changes, but it's actually acting in carpet. Can I talk to you from here? No, you gotta be activated from that button. Okay. That's, that's, the, that's what you have. That's, okay. This is the dome microphone for dome setup. That's your factory, this is aftermarket. Do you have any questions? Yeah. Are you happy? Yeah. You're very happy? Will you refer? Yes, yes. Would you refer us out there? Yes. We appreciate you giving us the business today. Thank you. Only thing I'm That's gonna cool in here. If you see anything happen, the only thing when you're driving this car, if you see any smoke come out of over here, over here, you have to get out the car, get your phone. You got to take your phone with you and call 911 and make sure you have full coverage insurance. Why, 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 does, why, do, why do I get a fire? Because the thing is, if you have a fire, then that's a fire. That's You got to have insurance for that. Okay. <laughs> I'm only playing with you.